If you're an avid reader, you might want to check out a new festival that's in Minneapolis this weekend. It is called Wordplay and it's downtown. It's being called the largest celebration in the state for readers, writers, and great books. Ellery McArdle got a preview. We know you love a good book gallery. It sounds like this is going to be a big deal. Yeah, absolutely. You know, this is the first year of wordplay and they're already expecting some 10,000 people to show up this weekend. So right now I'm in the open book building along Washington Ave in downtown Minneapolis. And this is where a lot of the events are going to be happening, specifically in this parking lot behind me. It's going to be full of tents with authors, a lot of Minnesota authors and some celebrity ones, too. I have had authors tell me when I didn't live in Minnesota that Minnesota was always one of their favorite stops because the fans would just really come out to bookstores. Minnesota's got book lovers all right, and they will be out this weekend for the first ever Wordplay Festival. More than 100 authors with big names like Stephen King, Amy Tan, and Mitch Albom. Steph Opitz is in charge of it all, so we had to ask her, why is Minnesota such a literary hub? I think it's because we're all smarter than everyone else, but <laughs> it's just kind of that cross-section of publishers and authors and great MFA programs and literary magazines, all these great independent bookstores that somehow cycle makes it a great literary community. A large community of readers and writers with 10,000 people expected to show up this weekend at the open book building and nearby spots. So grab a book, get it signed, or go home with something new. I would love for people to walk away with um, a book by an author that they haven't heard of before coming to Wordplay. So Wordplay runs Friday through Sunday, and we've got all the ticket and schedule info at carolevin.com slash sunrise. You know, in talking with Steph, something interesting she brought up was, you know, she said it was not difficult to get those big name authors here. It was more difficult to, because they had to turn some away. They were just filling up so fast with the lineup. So, hey, I'd say that's a pretty good problem to have when you're going into your first year of this festival, right, guys? Oh, my gosh, it sounds like some incredible names there, and I know Minneapolis is going to turn out for that event.